What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto Online. Today we've got something brand new to check out in this game and I'm really excited about it. So I'm sure you guys can tell by the title of the thumbnail and the fact that we are in our hangar out here at the military base. We've got a brand new air vehicle to check out and uh, this is going to be awesome. So I'm assuming this is going to be in Warstock Cash and Carry. I have no clue how much this is gonna cost, but uh, oh my goodness, the FH-1 Hunter. Holy cow, we've got an attack helicopter we're gonna be able to buy here. This is gonna be absolutely insane. The Hunter is nature's little way of telling someone that they're about to have hundreds of rounds of heat-seeking freedom launched into their way of life. With space for more mass destruction than anything in its class, this thing has been responsible for delivering more kilotons of democracy than any other attack helicopter on the planet. So if it's brand recognition you're after, you just found it. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and buy this thing now. $4.1 million. What in the world, dude? It's going to be delivered to our hangar shortly. All right, cool. So uh, I'm going to say let's go ahead and, and head out of this hangar. We'll wait for it to be delivered. And then uh, we're going to check it out, customize it, fly it around, and see what this thing can do once it is. I believe she's here, boys. Oh my goodness, this thing's gonna be insane. So this is the most destructive air vehicle in the game by a long shot. I'm really excited about this. Let's um, let's see what she's got to offer. Here we go. Holy cow, this thing is huge. It's actually a little bit bigger than I was expecting it to be, dude. It's bigger than the Tula. Look at the size of this thing, dude. This is, it's actually more futuristic than I was expecting it to be. Look at that tail rotor, all enclosed. It's got the giant wing on the back. Dude, this thing looks good. It looks super, super stealthy. Guys can see it looks like we've got, um, I can already see a few of the different attacking options. So down here on the front, we've got a machine gun. I wonder if we can customize that thing out for different like grenade launchers and stuff like that. We've got homing missiles on the sides right here. Looks like we've got four on each side. And then what is this? Is this like a missile barrage? Is that like you could shoot multiple at a time really, really quickly? Dude, this looks insane. It's got like a camera and, and kind of like IR thing up front. This looks nuts. I wonder if it's got a bomb bay. I'm kind of kind of curious about that, but let's go ahead and hop in here. It's got two seats, so you can't have a co-pilot if you want. We're gonna go ahead and modify our aircraft. Armor, full armor. Countermeasures, what do you guys think? I'm gonna go with, um, let's go with flares. That sounds good to me. Engine, upgrade to level four. Handling, race handling. Livery, we've got shark teeth, shark teeth bat. Jungle camo shark teeth bat, wolf, desert camo, forest camo, wilderness camo, storm camo. Dude, what do we want here? That's the question. I think I might go storm camo, shark teeth, wolf. That looks pretty cool. So we're gonna go with that. Respray, do we wanna change the color up here? Ooh. I'm thinking about, what do we want to do? Like black and white wouldn't look too bad or we could go with like a black and gray or something. I feel like this thing needs to be stealthy. I don't want to have an absolutely like outlandish type color. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go, I'm going to go with black and then secondary color. Oh, you know what? That's actually not changing much. I thought I was going to change the gray tones. We'll just keep that black, I guess. That looks good, in my opinion. All right, so we've got that. Weapons, bombs, we do have bombs. Explosive, incendiary, gas, or cluster. I'm gonna say cluster bombs. We'll just go with the most expensive, why not? Turrets, we can go with the 50 cal or the explosive turret. I would say the explosive turret is probably a little bit more exciting. And uh, boom, there we have. So we've got a turret. We've got missiles. We've got cluster missiles, and we've got bombs. We've got four attacking options, not to mention we're in a helo. So we've got really good control over this thing. All right, 
So there are our missiles. We've got missile barrage. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty cool. So those aren't going to lock on, but if you just wanted to, to fire a bunch of missiles at a target, you could just do so. That's pretty cool. And we've got homing. All right, how do we... How do we switch to the turret, though? Right is to open up the bomb bay doors. We know that. And then I think you can press circle to look down. Drop bombs. Dude, the thing is, is like, the Tula was good at dropping bombs because it had the hovering mode, but it didn't really, like, maneuver very well when it was in the, the helicopter hovering mode. So I think it's gonna be really nice to have an actual helicopter you can maneuver well. Woo! Good night! Dude, this thing is so sick! Dude, this thing just looks so mean. Are you kidding me? This is so nasty and it handles so well. We've got that race handling, so we're like, we're turning on a dime. This feels good. Um, I wonder, how do you switch positions in vehicles? Is it holding triangle? I'm gonna try that here. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. You guys want to see our, our helicopter fly away? I want to figure out how to get into the gunner position. There's got to be a way you can shoot your gun even when you're not using it. Oh, dude, that thing landed right in the middle of the freeway. What do you guys think? Should we do a bombing run on this yacht? Where is it? Woo, got him. <laughs> oh, pull up. Oh my gosh, dude. This thing is so fast. Holy cow, I really like the handling. Well, I looked it up. Unfortunately, there is no way that you can switch into the gunner's seat while you're flying it. It would be cool if you could like set it up to hover and then just hop into the front seat and use the little ball turret type thing. Cause you can see straight down in like 90 degrees each direction. It looks really, really good. But unfortunately that's just for a second player. So uh, as the driver of this thing, if you're going solo dolo, you've got the, uh, the homing missiles the barrage missiles, and then also the bombs, of course. So uh, overall, that's not too bad. I mean, like I said, if you could set it up and, and just be be a stationary little machine gun turret, that would be pretty dope. But um, dude, this thing, this thing is really good. So what you could do is say you're in any sort of, of heist or anything, or you're just messing around fighting people, you could shoot a ton of, of the barrage like this, and then you guys can see there's a kind of like a reloading period. You have to wait a few seconds and then you can do it again. So what you could do is like, say you see somebody, missile barrage, switch to homing. Boom, 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 boom. Back to missile barrage. I mean, this thing has to have the most damage that you can possibly do out of any vehicle in this game. That is absolutely insane, dude. So uh, it's pretty good damage wise. Let's go ahead and land this thing on the top of the Maze Bank Tower. Sorry, News Chopper. Oh, we missed anyway. We're gonna land this thing up here, and I kinda wanna see just how much damage it can take. Like this thing, without a doubt, probably the most damage de dealing vehicle in the game. Like not even close. I'm trying to hit these guys. That's not even a News Chopper, dude. I really wanna take him out just for the heck of it. We've missed all of our shots so far. That one should hit, there we go. Got the, the coppers on us now. We've got three stars. I want to hurry up. I'm hoping we have some, some ammo in our explosive sniper here. We're about to find out. Do we have the explosive rounds? Heavy with explosive rounds, we do. I want to see how many explosive round shots this will take. One, two, three, four, five. Six, six explosive round shots. Holy cow, dude. This thing's gonna be able to take probably at least a, a rocket or two, maybe even three. So not only does this thing deal the most damage out of everything, but it's also got a pretty good defense, especially if you get that extra armor on there, that it's, uh, it's gonna be able to keep you safe. That's absolutely insane, dude. This thing is actually really, really good. I mean, it's expensive. You're definitely paying for it. But uh, I would venture to say that if you're looking for something that's um, going to be highly versatile and then also deals a lot of damage, that's probably going to be a pretty good option for you. So uh, there you guys have it. A little quick look at the, uh, the brand new FH1 Hunter in GTA Online. Hope you guys do it. If you guys have picked this up yet, 
Let me know what you think of it. If you haven't gotten it yet, let me know if you think you will get it. Personally, I think it's pretty cool. I need to find some friends to fly with, though, so they can actually use the, uh, the turret gunner. Because that thing looks absolutely nuts. I mean, it looks... You fire, like, instant RPGs that hit the ground as soon as you fire them. Like, it, it looks really, really good. So, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna dip out of here, try to stay alive. And, uh, I'll see you guys in future episodes. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.